Alright everybody, today we're going to be speaking about a great topic once again and this is going to be the top 5 gym beginner mistakes, okay? So, when you join the gym, a lot of times you notice a lot of people neglect quite a few things which are so important to their training and without that, their training will slack, okay? And here's going to be 5 things which a lot of beginners do wrong, okay? I've got them right down here, so just so I know what to speak about and this is what I've actually came up with myself, obviously. First one's going to be neglecting nutrition. I see it so often, okay? You see these people come in the gym, train their ass off, but they're just not growing, they're not gaining, but they are in their protein shake, so it's all right. But no, this is wrong. You've got to really focus on your nutrition, get your calories in, hit your macronutrients, focus on that side, okay? I will be doing a video about speaking about what like how to go about nutrition and what type of macros to hit for your body weight so on and that will be a different video so be sure to check that one out that will probably be out in about a week okay I'm currently working on doing that video and yeah so neglecting nutrition is a huge like mistake I see so many people do you even see advanced lifters do it so yeah first of all and just at least make sure you're getting your calories in in order to grow and hitting your proteins okay right secondly I see too many people go on these bro splits, okay? And this is a mistake as well because the problem going on this bro split is you're only hitting each body part once a week and this isn't good for you because your muscles take 48 hours to 72 hours to recover, okay? No longer. So there's no point hitting each muscle group once a week because you're just neglecting the fact that you can train it more often and you're missing out on gains basically that is what you're doing so the best split I recommend for a beginner is either a, a simple upper and lower body split or a push ball leg split because that way at least you're hitting everything twice a week minimum so that's the split I'd recommend if you don't know enough about them types of like splits and you don't really know what a push ball leg split is then be sure to just google it, it'll tell you all there and go on bodybuilding.com it's a great source of information Thirdly, I see a lot of beginners' forms are quite, their form on the exercises are quite all over the place and it's just, it's not spot on, it's not to where it should be and the problem with this is you'll get uneven muscle growth, so you'll get muscular imbalances, for instance one shoulder may be bigger than the other, but another huge risk that you're causing yourself by doing this is injuries. You're allowing yourself to be prone to injuries by having incorrect form. And that's the last thing you want as a beginner. You want to be maximising that first year in the gym to make as much gains and progress as you can because it is the year where you will get the most out of it if you do it correctly. So this is something that I see often so many people do wrong. Their form slacks. So ensure that your form's good, okay? Fourthly, I see a lot of people neglect leg training. And this is one that doesn't just happen for beginners. It happens for intermediate and advanced lifters, but beginners it happens the most, okay? The reason as to why they think, who wants big legs? And secondly, they think, well, there's no point training my legs, it hurts too much. For, and going back to the first point, who wants big legs? You need to have big quads, otherwise your physique will look completely stupid. If you've got a really wide upper body, you've got a V-taper, and then you've got some tiny-ass skinny legs, okay? And I'm not on, on about just your calves, I'm on about your whole legs in general. Glutes, quads, hams, and calves. If you, all of them slack, then your body is going to be looking stupid, okay? And second of all, if you don't train your legs because you just think it's difficult, then you're losing out on so much growth, okay? Because your legs are one of the biggest muscle groups in your body, okay? When you hit that muscle group, you're giving off the most GH in your body, yeah? Or human growth hormone, okay? So HGH. And when you neglect them leg training, you're not allowing all these hormones to fly around your body in order to cause more growth. So, in reality, yeah, when you train your legs, it can benefit your upper body. So, don't just neglect leg training, okay? It's like anything. Don't neglect a muscle group on your body. Because, one, you're losing out on growth. And, two, you're just losing out on all the benefits that come with it. And here we go. We're just going to go on to the fifth and final thing which I'm going to speak about. And that's going to be constantly training abs, okay? I see it so much and so often. I see these beginners going to the gym and they think, all right, I'm going to hit the gym, I'm going to get like lean and shredded or whatever. And then they're always training abs, okay? I've done a video on abs and how to train them. I've even uploaded a few home ab workout for beginners, okay? 
to try out. But there's no need in hitting abs every day. I stress this in my video on the secrets to getting abs. You do not need to hit your abs every day. I see so many people go in the gym, hit them for like 15, 20 minutes, and they go five times a week, okay? They're spending like an hour to two hours just on their abs. And it makes a whole workout slack in general. And too many people just focus on abs. I mean, when you're a beginner, you, you should have abs because you're gonna be quite low body fat, like you might be anyway. You might be low body fat and quite low on weight. But even if you're not, you don't need to train your abs. They're not going anywhere. They're, you're not necessarily going to lose them unless you go above 15% body fat. But when you come into the gym, the first thing you should be doing is bulking if you're aiming to put on size. Obviously, if you're overweight and you're coming into the gym, then lose weight. So you go on a cut. But if you're bulking, I don't recommend training abs every day. I recommend just doing them, like I said before, two to three times a week maximum with weighted exercises. Chucking a few body weight exercises here and there just to get just to burn out basically whatever's left and to tap into that muscle endurance fibres. So that's what I recommend and yeah, five biggest mistakes which happen. One, nutrition. Two, bro splits. Three, form. Four, neglecting weights. And five, training abs constantly. Don't make these mistakes and I hope this video cleared up some misconceptions people thought they should do or whatever. And yeah, I don't know what the next topic of discussion video is going to be about. Obviously, as I said, I am working on a nutrition video, but that's going to take a while to make because basically it's a really long topic, okay? But if you like this video, be sure to like it. Please subscribe and help the channel grow, and I'll see you in the next one.